Yeah, g'day guys. Oh, we're just stepping out for another trip. So this week we're heading out, uh, we left Coffs Harbour, New South Wales, Australia, and we're heading right out to the extremities, right out to the uh, outside edges of our exclusive economic zone. So yeah, have a wander around and see what's happening out here. So I've been steaming for three days and uh, we're just about to shoot some gear away. So it's looking pretty good actually. I think we've got calm today and then we've got 25 knots for the next couple of days and then dropping out again. But we're coming up to our, our first, uh, first quarter of the moon phase so we should start seeing a bit of swordfish around. So that's the plan, we'll have the gear up nice and shallow and uh, see if we can't pluck some swordfish out of the area. So yeah, it's looking pretty good, plenty of life, that bird's working, uh, plenty of whales around us for sure. Yeah, so uh, I'll get the boys up shortly, we'll get the toy line deployed and um, start shooting some gear and see how we go. So this will be a fairly long trip, we're a fair way offshore so we'll do quite a few shots and then uh, we'll head back into Coffs Harbour and unload there so we'll see how we go. Alright guys, I'll keep you posted. Uh, so we steamed uh, two days ago, we left port and we're heading out to, uh, we're still steaming. Two days later we're still steaming out to the fishing grounds. So the boys have done all their jobs and now they're getting in Vita, setting up a bit of a gym. Are getting fit. No doubt New Year's resolutions, so we'll see how they go. But, um, nah, good stuff. Boats all tidy, we made up all the gear on the way out, so. And we've got a bit of slop, I think 25 knots they're calling. Uh, it's a forecast, but uh, we'll keep going and we'll shoot away tomorrow morning. Yeah. The boys getting fit. So we've got all our uh, beacons all charged up, ready to go. Beautiful day for it. Absolutely gorgeous. Cobalt blue water. Uh, what have we got? 23.8 degrees Celsius. And it's supposed to stay well. I think it's going about 15 knots of northerly. Uh, tonight. Boys are just grooving, they've got their uh, hunting and fishing straw hats on, so yeah, being sun smart. And uh, yeah, just get the gear in the water. So yeah, crack a day. Zero is putting us on the spot and uh, the blue ocean gear. The movie gun. So you can see with the blue ocean gear there, you can see the uh, 
the GPS beacons and what they're doing. And uh, if I cl click on the uh, fishing boys list, it'll give you all the details. So long and lat, uh, drifting at 1.7 knots. And the sea surface temperature is 24 degree average. So yeah, nice and defasing with time zero. So we'll get this in the water and give it all. We've been giving it a fairly good soak because we haven't seen a lot of tuna, so we've been giving it about seven, eight hours of soak uh, before we start hauling again. So your soak time, so the gear's not um, not anchored to the bottom or anything, it's just drifting, and uh, hence the GPS beacons. And uh, we just let it drift for six or seven hours, and then just start hauling again. Uh, we'll see what happens. We've just finished shooting the gear, so boys are giving it a quick scrub down. While we're doing that, I think Sam's got something, uh, something cooking, so the boys will have a feed, something to eat, and then uh, go and get some sleep. I'll get uh, six or seven hours of uninterrupted sleep. Beautiful day for it. 24.6 degrees we ended up at the end of this line. Um, sea surface temp, so about a degree warmer than the start, which is good. It's good to get a bit of variance through the line. p.m. so uh, time to get the boys up. I'll be mucking around down the engine room and doing the forecast for the offshore crew and all that sort of carry on so um, yeah so uh, we'll just start hauling now. See the time zero you can see the beacon drift uh, with the blue ocean gear uh, beacons. It's quite interesting look at this one it's started heading north and it spun around and started heading south again. Yeah, so... You can see at, this, uh, at the eastern end here, beacons number one and two, they've had a direction change. So the current's changed. Yeah, so... We'll go and... Uh, get hooked onto the line and uh, see what happens. I'll go and make the boys up. I can't see anyone on the cameras yet, so I'll go and make the boys up and we'll go and make a start. Nice. Just started hauling, so it's a good start.
Right up the side of light. A little bit of colour there. Big guy. Nice there. beautiful night, dead calm. Oh, nice fish. Nice big eye. Sixty. You reckon? Well, maybe seventy. Bro, the tuna takes priority over the, that fish. Okay, yeah. yeah, straight away bro, right. you deal with the tuna. Yep. It's a value thing, the tuna's worth three times as much as that one. So you want to deal with your tuna straight away brother. Okay. Nice mate. I showed you how to spike it through the brain, eh? Yep. Awesome brother. Nice. Hey, morning everyone. Oh, we're just cruising along. We had a bit of a steam last night. So, uh, just looking for a bit more tuna. There's a few swordfish around, but uh, just want to find a bit of tuna. So, yeah, the boat's all looking nice and tidy. Just got the boys up and they uh, got some bait out. And uh, the weather's starting to drop out. It's been a bit sloppy. But uh, easing off now. Yeah, so. Another couple of hours and we'll start shooting. So we're using squid and it, man, it's expensive. Seven dollars a kilo for squid. So yeah, it's pretty bloody scary. Yeah, so. Crack it, eh? And my son, Cam, uh, over in New Zealand is off chasing blue marlin today so he's uh, heading out of Waihau Bay so uh, look forward to those videos guys um, yeah hopefully he gets onto a fish today uh, the fishing's been on fire absolutely on fire in New Zealand so yeah fingers crossed for Cambo uh, that he uh, he does well today and he's been interviewing uh, everyone at Waihau Bay so um, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, seeing the, uh, the the video. I've got the boys some camp chairs, so they're uh, instead of sitting on bloody crates, on milk crates, they're only nine dollars each, so good deal. 
So yeah, the boys have got a bit more comfort. And of course they fold away, so. Uh, but we're looking forward to uh, getting the Cobb barbecue. Uh, Cobb New Zealand have very, sent, very kindly sent us a barbecue. So uh, looking forward to getting into Coffs Harbour. It's been delivered to Coffs. So uh, looking forward to picking that up and uh, doing some beautiful things on the barbecue. So yeah, Cobb, Cobb barbecue in uh, New Zealand. Stoked. Righto guys, we'll uh, let the boys rest for a couple more hours and then we'll start shooting gear. Just shooting another line away. It's a bit sloppy today. Got our Blue Ocean gear beacon all rigged up, ready to go. I've just been checking the other ones, so I've already deployed three of them. And uh, just checking the uh, sea surface temp and, uh, and rate of drift. So it's about 1.4 knots, so the gear's drifting at the moment. So yeah, fantastic gear. QL lighting, booming in. This weather's supposed to stay much the same for the next couple of days. Gear in the water. Alrighty, guys. So uh, we're just shooting a line away. It's a bit sloppy, actually. But uh, while we're doing that, I'm going to keep uh, update all my uh, Sea Flux uh, vessel management system. So we've got a, uh, a couple of new crew, uh, Leighton. And uh, Adam, so um, I'll get him to fill it out, fill out the standard documents uh, for crew induction. And Sam took him around and signed them through, so uh, uh, took him through the induction. But I just want to add it to uh, add the sea flux. And um, nice and easy, just to go straight through to your uh, crew particulars and your user and load them in with all their details. And I've gone through, um, uh, they also give their uh, tax details and super and all that sort of stuff, so it's great to keep it all on one record. And again, um, it depends on your company structure um, and of course your crew, how much, how much details they want to give you. Uh, but this covers everything, it's got your passport numbers, uh, next to kin, contact details, which is obviously crucial with uh, mariners out at sea. Um, some shit goes down, we need to know who to get a hold of. 
Um, your bank account details, all that sort of stuff, ABN, um, doctors' details, uh, it's, all, it's all in the uh, crew particulars. And then of course when you go uh, through and do uh, your voyage planning and your voyages, you just click on your crew, bang, 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 who you take, you know, go, you go through your list of inductees and decide on who, you know, just tick off on, uh, on who's on, on board for that voyage. So uh, yeah, nice and bloody simple. Yeah, so I'll bang away, get that updated, and um, I've got a little bit of a work list going as well, so I want to get that loaded up, um, so that I can get some parts ordered and all that sort of carry on, so. So I can, uh, I can watch the crew setting in the, in the cameras, got AFMA Fisheries cameras, uh, got our own personal vessel cameras, and while I'm doing that, while I'm watching what they're doing, I could also be doing the induction on uh, and keep it keeping my um, C flux system up to date. So yeah, great system. Yeah, so that's what I'm up to today. Get it, get everything up to date. Well done, guys. Good yeah, bro. Little fatty. Uh, tangled. Just pull this in bro, you never have shit hanging out the side of the boat. Oi, pull that in. So you came up in the tangle so we had to cut the line and join it again. That's uh, pretty standard with sorties. That's a good sized fish. About 70 kilo. Alrighty, got a nice sortie here. Just at the big leap. And it's very lively, as I say, yeah, just leap right out of the bloody water. So, so Sam's come back to trace it. Nicely done, chaps. Just watch that bill, eh, guys? He's really lively. Just a little fella, but he's uh, got, got an attitude.